so I'm going to talk about a big part of Mass uh, that, uh, as we're focusing on the Eucharist of these weekends, going through the Bread of Life, life discourse, uh, and that is uh, Latin in the Mass, uh, why we have Latin in the Mass. Uh, in fact, you know, the first primary reason why we have Latin in the Mass is because we're supposed to. Uh, the, uh, the Second Vatican Council and the document and the Constitution on the Sacred Liturgy uh, says a step should be taken so that the faithful, that is you, may also be able to say or to sing together in Latin those parts of the ordinary of the Mass which pertain to them. Uh, what is the ordinary of the Mass? What are those parts? Uh, those parts are the parts that never change in their wording. So the wording is always the same at every Mass. Uh, and you'll notice on the pew cards that we have, uh, the parts that have Latin, we have the English uh, under it so that you know uh, what the words are that you're saying, uh, which is always very helpful. Uh, and those never change. You know, those parts never change. And that means the Gloria, like we sang today, what is in Latin, that never changes. Uh, another part of the ordinary is the creed, the Sanctus, or the Holy Holy, the Our Father, the Agnus Dei, you know, the Lamb of God, uh, etc. Uh, those are all parts where the wording is always the same at every Mass. Uh, so you never have to wonder what you're saying uh, as the words are there uh, in, uh, in that laminated sheet. So, these, so the Church commands that, we, that the people are familiar with and able to say or sing uh, parts of the Mass that pertain to them, the ordinary, the parts that they say. And, you know, there's, there's many reasons uh, that we can give uh, that help to understand why Latin is so important to the Church. You know, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI had said uh, something very helpful uh, as well uh, in his making things, reiterating what the Second Vatican Council was saying. Uh, in a document from 2007 on the Sacrament of Love, uh, which the Latin for that is Sacramentum Caritatis, uh, he said, I ask that future priests from their time in the seminary receive the preparation needed to understand and to celebrate Mass in Latin, and also to use Latin texts and execute Gregorian chant. Uh, that is the chant that Stephanie would sing and that our new organist, uh, Nate, uh, is also very experienced in. Nor should we forget that the faithful can be taught to recite the more common prayers in Latin, and also to sing parts of the liturgy to Gregorian chant. Now, you know, that's end quote uh, from Pope Emeritus Benedict. So what are, what are the reasons uh, why Latin is uh, so important in the Mass, uh, not just in America, uh, in fact, in many parts of the world, they use much more Latin in their Mass than even, than even we do here, uh, especially in Africa. Uh, it's very common in Africa. Uh, one reason why Latin is used in the Mass, uh, the Latin language is esteemed, uh, that is, it's held in high regard because of its origin and its antiquity. Uh, so because of how old it is, uh, how far back it goes in the Church, uh, of how long it's been used in Mass. It dates back to the earliest centuries of the Church and to the Masses offered in the catacombs. So it, it connects us with that patrimony, uh, it connects us with that history of the Church. Uh, a second reason why Latin is used in Mass, there's an element of mystery about Latin. This is especially so because it's what is called a dead language. Uh, that is, nobody speaks it in conversation uh, anywhere in the world uh, on a regular basis. Uh, it's, it's something that has not uh, developed beyond uh, a point in conversation. Uh, the use of Latin conveys to the mind of the people as a result that something is going on upon the altar which is beyond their comprehension. This is not something that's an everyday thing. Uh, this is a very different language that we don't use for anything else, uh, that we don't use in conversation with each, with each other even. Nowhere else in the world is it used in conversation. So 
it makes it stand apart from everything else in life. Uh, the third reason, Latin is a liturgical language for Catholics. And what I mean by that is uh, it's, it's important to remember that the Jews and even the pagans made use in the past in their worship of a language which the multitude were not fluent in. They both used languages that the people themselves who worshipped did not speak, uh, or did not speak very well or very often. The Jews, in fact, made use of Hebrew, the language of the patriarchs, although many of the people spoke Greek among the Jews. So many of the people spoke Greek, especially around the time of Jesus, but they still use Hebrew during the worship, during sacrifices. And we don't see that condemned by Jesus or the apostles. Uh, a fourth reason why Latin uh, is used in Mass, the use of Latin in the Mass is a means of maintaining unity in the Catholic Church. Now remember, the Church is all over the world. Uh, there are many languages spoken by Catholics around the world. And most people are not going to know each other's languages very well. So for the use of one and the same language in the Latin rite, churches all over the world, it's a connecting link to Rome and to each other. So nations that are separated by many cultures and native languages can be brought together through one language, the Latin language. Uh, in fact, in uh, Jerusalem, the, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, it is required that all the parts of the Mass, what I mentioned, the ordinary, uh, are to be done in Latin. They, they must always be done in Latin. The, the homily and the readings will, will be done in whatever the language is chosen, uh, but all the other parts of the Mass, the parts that don't change, uh, must be done in Latin in that church in Jerusalem because of all the people, because of how many different places people come from. Uh, a fifth reason for Latin in the Mass, it's a safeguard against error, that is against heresy, things that are wrong teaching. Uh, so it protects the church uh, against error coming into our teaching. So the near exclusive language of Latin, or no, wait, let me go back. The near exclusive use of a local common language, such as English, uh, over time, it eventually leads to heresies and errors creeping into the church. Uh, and, and the reason for this is that Language changes over time. Uh, we can all realize this if we merely read Chaucer, like the Canterbury Tales, or Shakespeare. Uh, that English is much more difficult for virtually everyone to read than what we speak now. So even some of the words that are used then are not words that are used now, even though it's the same language. So over time, things change in a language that's used commonly, that's spoken every day. Uh, even, uh, even those of our, our parents or grandparents, they had words that they used that are not the same use today because of the, the, the evolution of the words. But Latin is a dead language. Nobody speaks it in conversation, so the meaning does not change. It stays the same. So it's much easier to protect the church's teachings through Latin. A sixth reason for Latin, it is unnecessary for the faithful to hear or understand every ceremonial of the Mass. You do not need to understand or hear every single word that's spoken by the priest. Uh, this seems odd to us because uh, in our society we want to know everything. We don't want, we don't want anything to remain hidden. Uh, we, we, want to, we don't want mystery. Uh, we don't have to shine a light on every single corner, which means you don't have to understand every single part of the Mass. It, it doesn't mean that the Mass is not the Mass because you don't understand everything. You know, I've been to Masses when I've been in other countries and I don't understand a word that is said if it's done in a, another language. If, it's not, if it doesn't use Latin or English, uh, it's very difficult to understand. But I still know it's the Mass and it doesn't change anything about it being the Mass. So mystery is an important element of worshiping God. As experience shows, 
The fact of the prayers being in Latin over time does not interfere with the devotion of the faithful. In fact, there were much more practicing Catholics before the Mass was allowed to be in other languages than there is now. Not that that's a direct connection as to why there is less devout Catholics, but there were much more devout Catholics even when most of them didn't know Latin at all and we're a much high, more highly educated society than ever in history. So we don't really have an excuse for our education to say that we don't know or we don't understand some things. I'm not talking about if you understand a language or not, uh, but we have easy access to understand things. So people are just as likely to be inattentive at Mass when it's in their own language as in the past, when it wasn't in their own language. That hasn't changed at all. Uh, that's, that's still a problem. Seventh and final, the primary reason why the whole of the Mass was historically offered in Latin and why it's still required now to have parts of it in Latin is because it is a sacrifice. It's not an instruction for the people. The homily is an instruction, and that's why the homily has always been in the language of the people. But the Mass is not an instruction. It is a sacrifice. The celebration of Mass is more of an action than it is words. Uh, a Protestant gathering, uh, which commemorates the Lord's Supper, where they're just merely remembering it, it's simply a service of prayers and instruction. Uh, imagine the first part of the Mass, or just the readings and the homily. That's pretty much the extent of a Protestant service. Uh, it's it's the, the, the foreplay without the consummation. Uh, it, it's, there's no consummation of what has been excited in the hearts and minds of the faithful. Uh, the readings are meant to prepare us to receive our Lord in the Eucharist. Not just to receive him, but to worship him in this sacrifice, even if we can't receive for some reason. So, the, so for a Protestant service, it has to be in the common language because it's only instruction and prayers, only. But the Mass is a holy sacrifice offered to God the Father by an ordained priest in the person of Christ that is in persona Christi. The action of the Mass and the mystery of it is reinforced by the use of Latin. Uh, it shows that uh, Latin is not uh, nearly just a language, uh, but rather it's a way in order for us to realize that this is a sacrifice. This is not something that we just do everywhere else in life. Uh, unless you're a, a doctor you know, or a professor, you probably don't use Latin very often. Uh, you don't use it very often, and that's on purpose, uh, why it is even more significant that it's used in Mass. Because it's not going to remind us of ordering food at McDonald's in the drive through uh, It's not going to just seem like we're at another building. Uh, this is God's temple. And using the language of Latin, as I said, connects us to the past. It is, brings mystery. It brings unity. It protects the teachings of the church. It brings mystery into our lives. And it also helps us realize that this is not so much uh, a prayer, it is, but it is an action. Uh, the Mass, that's why you cannot go to Mass except by going to Mass. Uh, you have to go where a priest is celebrating that sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, where he's making it present once again.